street performers have always been a stable part of any thriving community. So when COVID came around and took the life out of the city, it felt especially quiet. But after many months and multiple lockdowns, it seems we're finally getting back to some semblance of normal. Well, a new normal. I sat down with some London street performers to see how they were affected by the pandemic and what thoughts they had on it. Can you just introduce yourself to the camera? Uh, tell me your name, what type of music you do. Okay, Salam Alaikum. Uh, my name is Yassine. Uh, I'm from uh, Casablanca from Morocco. Uh, I'm doing the Gnawa music, traditional music uh, from Africa, North Africa exactly. <laughs> So in your own way, can you tell me what it's like to be a street performer in London? Yeah, it's nice to be busking and performing in the street in London because you meet a lot of uh, people. A lot of people, they give you kind of good speech, speaking to you, hug, give you more energy. Some people, they're asking about the music, they never see it. They learn it more and they try to understand exactly the traditional of it. So. Yeah, see, in the next question, I want you to tell me a little bit about what you enjoy about being a street performer. I enjoy it because, you know, kind of same as I say, I'm meeting a lot of people for festivals and things and performing big things, kind of exactly what happened in Morocco, kind of the Gnawa festival in Sawera. <laughs> I mean, uh, I was kind of dreaming about kind of to show the music, to, to make the people to understand, to see our colors, our beautiful things for Africa. Mm. A lot of people, they surprised, they said maybe Africa is nothing happening there, but it's kind of nice to bring something from Africa, the sunshine. In uh, Marrakesh, we have the famous square of Jamal Fina and people, they play, performing every day. <laughs> your own experience, can you tell me what the street performing community is like? Yeah, community about busking. Performing in the street is always it was the best, all the time. Mm. Always when we perform, good people, they support us, they ask for the contacts, meeting a lot of busker as well, musicians, mm. good ones. <laughs> So around this time last year, uh, COVID happened and everyone was going crazy. You know what I mean? So we got put in a, a yeah. big lockdown. Can you just tell me about like what was going through your head at the time? What were you thinking? Like in terms of your work, like how was that affected? Stuff like that. Yeah, the COVID is kind of was making a little bit the the city kind of sad. People they give the distance. They don't want to come to. They want to come to hug you and talk to you, but they can't. Kind of something stopping them, and. I was keeping doing it, I mean, I didn't give up, I mean, keep playing, doesn't matter, maybe I don't make money, I, no one to talk to me, but I keep doing it and it's, it was a good experience. Sometimes you see the people, they are sad, but they want to be happy as well. So it was quiet, very dead. The mood of the city is kind of... London, normally I used to see busy traffic, I cannot move, always queue for busking, but it was kind of very, very quiet, chilly. Like what things did you do to adapt? You know, when COVID was going around, everyone's staying distant. What things did you do to maybe make them interact a little bit? Um, this two guys kind of, we try to play the good music to make the healing and trance of the music. We try to use the good colors of our traditional, what we have in back home. People, they don't know about it. I mean, a lot of people, they don't know about Morocco, about Africa, they've never been there, but it's, Try always to bring it to them, to see them, to make them the courage to go and to see the Africa, how it look, uh, Morocco, how it look.
and I hope so one day we can have a Gnawa festival in UK. Yeah, man. I think that's it. I think we got yeah. all of the questions. You did yeah. really well, man. That was very good. That I was always trying to do the best. Yeah, man.